Good morning and welcome back to Why in the Morning. You know, good things happen when you watch Why in the Morning. And uh, earlier on, we started by giggling. We giggled, we laugh. I think giggles, when they graduate, they become laughs because we laughed more than we giggled. So, Faith, I think we will change that thing to morning laughs because we laugh more. <laughs> that was nice. And again, after that, Faith came, Faith Mutete. She told me to remind uh, you, viewer, that she's called underscore at underscore mutete, mutete eh? she she didn't say that so i'm saying that for my variable partner uh faith mutete she was with a very beautiful lady here called grace kinutia who taught us about psychology a lot about what goes on in our minds and how we should maintain like the mental health so that was great i think um should have like uh, the way kenya is currently should have such lessons like daily because people are stressed there are a lot going on in minds that's why we have so many suicides so many uh, uh, killings that happen uh, between those who love that like two lovers so I think we need more of such lessons so thank you very much Faith Mutete and you are very valuable guest called uh, Grace Kinutia. So today we are here uh, to talk about choices. Uh, what do we choose for a life partner? What do people look at when they choose life partners? My name is Oguda Bradley Sankara Kayesu and with me here, and I must say that I'm here on behalf of Val, who Faith said is in Kisi taking videos of Embarambara. And uh, with me here to help me dissect this topic are two great people, uh, the future uh, leaders or the, or the current leaders of Kenya. Of course, the future. Current and future. Current and future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the lady. I know your one name, so you'll tell us your name, uh, your social media handles, and everything you want us to know about you. Karibu. Okay, my name is Wendy Ingwil George. Um, I am a facilitator, an administrator, and a mentor. Uh, my social media handle, I mostly use Facebook. Uh, that will be at Wendy Ingwil G. Yeah. And um, basically, I'm not so much on Twitter or Instagram, but. I do better on Facebook, so you can check me out on Facebook. You choose Facebook? Yeah. Ingwell. Yeah. Uh, did I pronounce it well? Ingwell. Ingwell. <laughs> I think as the proceed, you'll do better. Yeah, I will do. Uh, people learn as they move like forward. Mm. How are you, sir? I'm very it's much not okay. your first time here. They have been here several. Yes. But uh, the pandemic made us not to, to, to attend social gatherings, and but we thank God we are here today. Is this a social gathering? No, this is not a social gathering, but it is, um, you tell me, what is it? <laughs> 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 this is the best way to talk to people during this pandemic. True. So next time, don't take a break, a long break in the excuse of pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the best way now how, like now we are talking to so many people and they are not crowded anywhere. Everybody is in their own the place. Room, yeah. Tell us your name. My name is... Um, my official names are Kevin Peter Urinda, uh, aka you can call me Voke Bazenga. I am a YouTuber, I am a, I am a digital content creator, I am a comedian, and of course I am a child of God. Wow. Yeah. How do you carry all those in one brain? I, How do you I, become a child of God <laughs> who makes people laugh mm -hmm. and who is YouTubing mm -hmm. and who, who is what? You said so many things. Digital Tell content us, creator. Tell us, a digital content creator. During, Tell us how you during, carry all those in uh, one brain. During COVID phase one, a lot of people were in the house. People used to stay in the living room and I, I did a lot of videos. A lot of people discovered their talents. Mm -hmm. Other people discovered how to bake cakes. Other people discovered how to maybe dance, mm -hmm. maybe sing. I discovered I could do a lot of things. Yes. And so I, I could script write mm -hmm. and I did a lot of short videos there on my YouTube channel. It's true, I saw them. Yes. And uh, the fact that uh, uh, there, there's a video we watched here with Faith okay. in the morning okay. of some preacher saying that Uzi kula kichwa ya mbuzi, no kule mtura, no kunye mpombe, alafu haribike figo, alafu kuje useme ya titukuombe figo ipone, alafu hata sasa haba tuseme tukupe figo. Suwezi kupea kidini yangu. Na wendo lijitumo ukafanya hivu. Wendo lijitumo ukafanya hivu. I saw you displaying a lot of health, a lot of health, um, yeah, yeah. natural health, teaching yeah. people on the natural health. Mm. Uh, apart from that, uh, I'm an Adventist, yes. I'm a staunch Adventist, yes. and I'm a medical missionary student. Wow. Yeah. 
and yeah. I've, I've, I've uh, a knowledge or other knowledge on on, on medical hubs. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so today we are here to talk about choices. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you first to help me uh, to do a guesswork because from <laughs> now I'm going to display some research on what people prefer. Mm -hmm. So. There are four choices here. I think they, they were the topic, our topic of yeah, today. Yeah, mm -hmm. It was about brains, heart, wallet, uh, looks, and wallet. And, wallet. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know they are in that order. That is alphabetical order. That's alphabetical order. It means I didn't choose, I didn't put one number one because I think that is number one. Mm -hmm. So it's brain W, uh, uh, brains, and uh, looks, mm -hmm. and uh, wallet was last, and then there was... Uh, there Heart. was a, what? Heart. 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 Yes. So, according to you, mm. what do you think? Let us start with you, Wendy. Mm. What do you think is the preference, the order of preference for ladies? There are four. So here you can choose from here. There are four. What do you think ladies prefer first when they are choosing life partners? Okay, I'm going to say my preferences yes. in accordance to um, some of the survey that I've had. Uh -huh. Most of the ladies will go for brains. Brain number one. Then yes. number two. Brain Brains, then a wallet. Then wallet number two. Uh, looks. Looks number three. Then the heart. I am going to note that down. So according to Wendy, according to Wendy, it is number one brains. Yeah. Number one brains. Number two. Uh, wallet. Wallet. Wallet number three. Uh, looks. Looks. Then number four, the last one is the heart. The heart. Yeah. So according to you, heart is number four. That is for ladies. Yeah. Ladies. What, what about men? What do you think? It's you. We are still on you, Wendy. Okay. What do you think is the preference for men? For men? Yes. <laughs> heart. Or oh, men will go first for heart. Yeah. Uh, when le, men. So according to you, men will oh, first oh, oh, do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. It's the looks, not the. Oh, heart. men sorry. will do looks first. Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. then um, after the looks, they will go for the brain. No? The brain. Yeah. Brain. Then we have two. Uh, we have wallet and heart. Mm -hmm. They will go for the heart. The heart. Then the wallet. Wallet cannot even be there for men, according to you. It's last, eh? Yes. Wallet. So we are on you. We are on you, brother. Kevo Voke, the mm -hmm. Adventist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so according to you. According to me. Ladies, yes. Uh, oh, we start with ladies. Yes. Are you for you? What do you think is the order of preference for ladies? For what ladies look in, yeah, in, in, yes. in a man? Yeah. Yes. What ladies? What ladies choose first in a man? You know, you know, a lot of a lot of Nairobi ladies would would go for a man because he has money. One money, One money. wallet, money. So that That's is wallet. Wallet, eh? mm -hmm. wallet. Then two, we have three remaining. And the brain and the and the the brain, then the heart. Brain, heart. And then lastly, brain, heart. Then, and then lastly, looks. Then looks. Yeah. Looks. Mm. Uh -huh. Then for men. For men, for men, it's fifty-fifty. You know, when you meet a lady, uh, I'd be like, Ibrahim, I'm told him supu. But the moment you, you, you continue being with that lady, you'd be like, ah, she, loses, she always puts, puts on weaves and she's always having makeup on. So uh. you'd be like, ah, this lady is not that beautiful. Mm. So for looks is 50 50, but let me go for looks for number one. Uh, looks for, for what man. a guy looks, uh, looks, then. looks. Then number two is brain. Brain. And then heart. Heart. And then lastly, wallet. Wallet. Yeah. So here it's like you are thinking alike. So we had we had a research that okay. maybe is going to surprise you. If you can have it up, uh, on air, we can appreciate that uh, is saying uh, something a little bit opposite of of what some of you. So it says that a study. Mm -hmm. This uh, lady who studied six. 68,000 people uh, that was women on what they prefer mm. and uh, the result was surprising <laughs> the results was a bit surprising in that um, mm. most ladies chose heart most ladies yes. uh, the, the first choice they go for is over, the heart over 80 percent mm -hmm. in fact about 90 percent chose heart that ladies love those who are uh, kind you know kindness is in heart 
that ladies love those who are, are but, kind. But I think that's their preference. You know, a lot of ladies get heartbroken. And heart you know, this, this, this research mm -hmm. was done in so many countries, mm -hmm. about about uh, 60, over 60 countries, they did it in different countries, mm -hmm. that ladies prefer hearts first. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can imagine that uh, wallet didn't feature anywhere in that. What What is your point on that? <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm among sad. those 60,000, yes. probably they are, they are not ladies from Africa. Mm. <laughs> you know, they, are ladies. They, they go for a man because a man has nini? Uh, a man has nini. Chali akona mula, akona ganji. Don't you think this is just a Kenyan thing? That uh, is it? Is it Kenyan girls mm -hmm. that prefer money so much? I want you to answer that because you are a lady. You don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to to get out of this head that you have accused you so much. I want it to come <laughs> from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. And in fact, according to your rating, mm -hmm. Wendy, wallet mm -hmm. came number two. Mm -hmm. So I want you to tell us if you think it's only a Kenyan thing based on this research, based on the research that we've just mm -hmm. read. Okay. I will tell you that it's not just a Kenyan thing. Mm. You know, first straight right from the Bible, the man should be the provider. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And the man being the provider, also in the African culture that we've been brought up into, mm. the man has been made the provider, mm. just as the Bible states as well. So. The man being the provider means there should be some stability. And the stability only comes when the wallet is proper. So, you are saying that even you prefer wallet? I would say I prefer wallet because uh, I've talked about stability. Mm. Stability uh, is wallet, eh? Yes. Especially economic stability. Yes, uh -huh. economic stability. Mm. I, while choosing wallet, it doesn't mean that you have to have a million or a billion, mm. a lot of money mm. for you to provide for your family. You sound like a preacher who said, whatever you have, just bring, whatever it, you have, just it's, bring. It's not just about whatever you have, uh. what you have on the table. Today, as a young man, mm. you, 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 you make a decision that you want to get married. Mm. While you want to get married, are you ready to pay rent? Mm. Are you ready to provide? If you are feeding one stomach, are you ready to now start feeding two? And that does not mean that the woman is not coming with anything. Mm -hmm. mm. For you me, are running to defense yes. because that is where I was coming to. <laughs> Don't you think you also, you were also educated, you also went to school, maybe have a job, hustling, you just told us here what you are doing something mm. to bring for you something at the end of the month. Yeah. Why don't we use yours if I don't have mine? Why must I be stable? Can't mm. you just be providing for me for some time maybe as I still look? Uh, my provision is I am your helper mm -hmm. and you are the head. Mm. So me, I am your helper. It doesn't necessarily mean that as you provide, I will be chipping in where you need help. Wendy, yes. are you saying that you cannot, if I am jobless, mm -hmm. but there are some other features in me, like heart, as they said, mm. if I am jobless, but mm. we are in love with, with each other, mm. and you are stable economically, mm. can't we just take out from there, you take care of me as I still look for funds, maybe to take Being care Being jobless is one thing. Uh -huh. Being jobless without a vision is another thing. So oh. you're jobless and you want to put your, your, your legs straight on my chair, I'm a coach, and be there sitting the whole day, or you're jobless, <laughs> and you're looking for ways to curb your joblessness. Mm. Ama wewe utakatu pale kwa nyumba mm -hmm. the whole day doing nothing. You know, mm. kuna, there is someone you can help and there is someone you cannot help. Mm. So someone you can help is someone who is, yes, he is jobless, mm. but he is not just jobless and sitting there. He's jobless and trying to, to, to do something. Yeah, to mm. make ends meet. Yeah. Okay, we are talking about this money thing and Kenyan ladies. Is mm -hmm. it a myth or is it a truth? You as a Kenyan man who has interacted with Kenyan ladies. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm very single. Very single. I'm very single. <laughs> uh -huh. Second of all, uh, we are talking of when uh, choices of who I will marry and mm. what I'm be looking in. Mm. Okay, we, we, are go, we are going to that point, but okay. can you tell us why you are single first? <laughs> <laughs> why are you single? <laughs> <laughs> at, at this age, oh, 
That is personal. That is personal. Oh, personal. Uh, okay. Now you can go on and explain uh -huh. to us. Uh, a, a lot of Kenyan ladies, a larger percentage of Kenyan ladies would, would go for a man because of money. Mm -hmm. They won't go for looks or, 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 or the heart or, 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 the, or brains. Very few will go for brains. Mm -hmm. Very few will go for brains because of maybe I've studied journalism and the lady has also studied something like law. They would blend together. But it is not a myth. It mm -hmm. is something which is true. Mm -hmm. A lot of ladies, especially in Nairobi, mm -hmm. are born. <laughs> that is what they'll go for, money, mm -hmm. nothing else. So are you faulting this research? Are you saying that maybe this, this research are faulted somewhere, that ladies are really looking for money, that money should be number one, according to you? Uh, according to Wendy, like Wendy said, in the Bible, you know, God made a man to be... The head. To be the head, and the ladies who are born that they will they will go through pain while while while, while giving birth, while a man will suffer looking for money. Mm. So akuna vanyam tu amujengo atenda fanya kazi amujengo alipo e eight hundred bopiake ame sweat alafu na kujaku ku 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 kula yod fair yake something. It's really hurting. Kukula fair I think is also a Kenyan thing. I don't know whether it happens in other countries. No, it it may be happening, but they don't call it kukula fair. Actually, kukula fair is so many things. It does not necessarily mean that ni metumi wa fair ni kukula. Kukula fair could be, I I can pay for my rent, but you send my rent, but. I don't use it for rent, I use it for other things. Mm. Yeah, so, hiyo pia ni kukula fair, sindi? Yeah, it's partly kukula fair. Because <laughs> this is not money I've earned. Uh, this is some money that... Somebody's money, yeah, somebody's money that, that you've been, acquired and yeah. you've not worked for him, for Definitely. that person. And I'm not exactly. even using it for the exact thing that it was sent for. Oh, yeah. I want us to compare, before we leave this money thing, I want us to compare... Mm -hmm money and looks. Mm -hmm. Somebody said that if leaves, the tree leaves were money, then the monkeys would be the most handsome mm -hmm. creatures on earth. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the context of that? Mm -hmm. It's like ladies would be loving monkeys more than anything else. Because monkeys stay there up there, so mm -hmm. they would be the people having that money. Yeah. That money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you substantiate this? Do you M think it's true? Money and looks. Okay. Yes. Do you think if if you have money, mm. then looks doesn't matter? Yes. If you have money, looks doesn't matter. Because it, ah. it is the money <laughs> that there are so many people out here who are very rich. But I would also say looks, look, looks is um, it's relative. Mm -hmm. It's relative mm -hmm. to a person. Mm -hmm. But w there are people out there who are very rich, but that's why you'll find a lame person or mm. someone who is disabled differently mm. Mm. and people would think that no one will go to them but just the fact that they have that money eh? mm. Ama mtutu kitu ilimfanyikia, hajakuwa vizuri kisura mm. and kima umbile, yes. then because he has that money Everyone will want to be around them. We've seen memes of this short guy. I don't know he's from which country. Tanzania. And uh, he has a girlfriend. There's a, there's yeah. a, there's not even a meme. There's a whole video yeah. of the person, the ugliest person in Tanzania. They went for ugly contest. Okay. So he won. He was number one. He's, uh -huh. I don't want to call God's creature ugly, ugly. but <laughs> he won that contest of the ugliest man in Tanzania. Yeah. He's polygamous. Yes. Yes. Two very beautiful ladies here. Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. Like but they love they him. Say, you know in, they in that contest, he mm. won some money, some good lump sum, some mm. good amount of money. Mm. So I don't know whether these girls are following money, but they were asked and said it is pure love. Okay, I, I also cannot talk about that. But the truth is, the reality is, if you have money, you... There will always, you will always have followers because people have problems left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. And they will always tend to follow where they can be, like they can curb whatever problem they have. Mm -hmm. So if money, money can even change looks. Oh, We've seen some of the that musicians. That is a point. That yeah. no, not down good points. Money, yeah. can, money change can change looks. looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can change looks. And by the way, it changes. Mm -hmm. We said something like that in the morning that oh, for people struggling so much to 
to look beautiful, but now this is none. Okay, let us just note it that way. Yeah, money <laughs> they will can digest. Mm. Tell us about this looks and money. Do you think yeah. if you're ugly, money can make you very beautiful? Very handsome. <laughs> Police ponyo ananga sura, mm. but akona do. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 uh, the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Is it true that Wendy can be very beautiful the mm -hmm. way she is okay. to me, but maybe not to another person or mm -hmm. something? Yeah, it is true. It is true. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. somebody else can can those four points. Somebody else can see Wendy really beautiful. Another uh, person can see the brains in, in in Wendy. Another person can see maybe 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 the looks in Wendy. Yeah. The same researcher, the same, same, the same, same researcher uh, said that uh, for men it is looks 90%. Mm -hmm. And I, even for you, that's why I was keeping your records. Okay. For you, it was looks number one. Wendy said looks number one. Voke said looks number one. And that researcher also said looks number one for men. Uh, it's up to 90%. Over 90% said looks first for men. Okay. And. Uh, <coughs> Somebody was saying that uh, if somebody marries an ugly lady, and ugly is relative, relative the way you say looks yeah. are relative, yeah. so we'll justify it very easily saying, oh, meet my girlfriend here, Alice, if there's any Alice out there, I don't mean you, um, <laughs> just using an example. Yeah. Oh, meet my girlfriend, Alice, Alice. Uh -huh. Nani mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something. Yeah. Uh, and I want to see Mrembo Sana, so yeah. anafa, what do I want to come respect by? Do you want a professional? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. She, maybe she has yeah. brains. Mm. Yeah, she has brains. Mm. And don't you think brain can make somebody beautiful? People can just admire you just because. You don't have those looks so much, but because you've spoken for around five minutes, people are saying, eh, hey, you them need more intelligent. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. think that can also attract men, according to you, you vocal first? Yes, yes, it can. Because if I meet you for the first time and I've not heard from you, then the moment you stand maybe in the podium and you present something, yes, I will be like, I'm so impressed. This <laughs> lady is wise. She has yes. wisdom. Huh? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, brains too can, can make a guy be impressed by a lady. Do you think it's the same for ladies? Can you just fall for somebody because of intelligence? Because somebody has stepped on a podium or somebody has come in a group and spoke wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge till you fall in love. Can that mm. make you fall in love? Okay, for... Um, <laughs> If you're choosing brains and looks mm -hmm. for a guy, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, intelligence. It's intelligence because... I'm zeroing in to you. Yeah. Can you fall for a guy because he, has, he was number one country in chemistry? Uh, he was number one. Uh, okay, in chemistry, if you narrow it down to that... Nationally, yes. If you narrow it down to that, uh. then it's a no. But then... Uh, what I mean when I say brains, I don't only mean like schoolwork, you're perfect in your schoolwork. Mm. I mean like someone who is emotionally intelligent. Mm. Like someone who he, he, he understands himself mm -hmm. and apart from himself also understands those people around him okay. and tend to their needs kind mm. of. So for me, that is someone with brain, someone who is intelligent. I've, apart from the classwork, what else can you do? Because Kunawale Machopi, eh? Uh -huh. He is very smart in class, mm -hmm. but he's very foolish, like streetwise. Hayuko street smart. <laughs> yes. So this is someone whom yeye atakwata na kwambia. Even you, if you are a lady, and say you are not as brainy as he is, mm -hmm. there's someone who will always make you feel chini, kiakili. Because ata kwambia, wewe uliaza tu kupata D kwa chemistry, na mi hapa nilipata A. Like, mm -hmm. there's someone who is even 
ukiwa na yeye yeah. you will always feel low of yourself even his comments but someone who is both smart kwa kili na ko smart like emotionally mm. ataelewa that maybe the reason you got that d was maybe because you are not as able as i was when i was going to school or because the circumstances that you are in did not enable you to perform better yeah do you have something to say bro uh, 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 i want to say no one is perfect yeah there's no one who can have all those qualities or mm -hmm. that, all those choices mm -hmm. somebody can be very bright eh? mm -hmm. he was number one in chemistry mm -hmm. but maybe in co-curricular activities he's very poor he don't know how to play football mm -hmm. or he doesn't know how to swim or something else but in class work he's very bright on monday i was discussing with val about this intelligence and organizing life he told she told me that there are so many people who are very bright mm -hmm. in class mm -hmm. but outside class just as you said mm -hmm. they are they are they have very disorganized life mm -hmm. and uh, by the way when i was in campus we were studying with those who i studied when they were still putting number one nationally mm -hmm. they are number two nationally we were studying with those people and uh, some remained in the campus because their lives were ruined in the campus. Mm -hmm. they, recently, UN uh, like registered so many students. Mm -hmm. They were among some of them were among those who were registered, registered for overstaying in the campus. Mm -hmm. Just kulewa kulewa and all that. There's uh, there's another guy with whom we were in primary. Uh, this guy was a number last. I am saying this because he also says it is he doesn't have problem with it. So even if he's watching, he won't have problem with it. Okay. So this guy was always number last. Even if you are sick, you sit home for a whole time and then you only come and do exams, at least you are sure you won't be number last. That is a reserve of somebody. Mm -hmm. That guy now is the richest in our lot. Oh. He's mm -hmm. an engineer. He went to Village Polytechnic, did some welding. Mm -hmm. He now welds for some popular telecommunication company. Mm -hmm. He's the one who takes contracts and welds those boosters mm -hmm. in the whole of East and Central Africa. Mm -hmm. He's rich. He's employed some of us. So those some of us who are being number ones in those schools. <laughs> so <laughs> that is about intelligence mm -hmm. and maybe choices mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So we're just uh, having these things like comparing them. So we are going to read some of your comments in Facebook okay. and uh, uh, we are going to see and you can remember that we say that uh, this is where we are going to choose two winners. Two winners of those who are uh, with, with those who are going to help us celebrate white five four at four years, white five four at four years. So we are starting with uh, Somebody called Haron Okumu Etiang. Haron Okumu Etiang anasema, watu huingilia, watu wangalia pesa kwanza ju. This is a man, and a man saying that watu wangalia pesa. So maybe, maybe he's a victim. And then there is uh, Jonathan uh, saying, Jonathan Kinyozi saying, akondani, ndani, ndani. And then there is Kenyan Dai saying, nowadays people date money, ju hamwezi kula mapezi. Outlook. Fear in a matter. Mm. Uh, the men, it's only men that have read and they are all talking of money. So maybe they are talking about money because they are victims. And then there is Lois saying respect, uh, respect and trust. This is Moli. I think this is why that research said that we they are looking for heart first. And then there is Dennis Wamurquit uh, wa saying I'm watching from Kapenguria, Dennis Karibusana. And then there is Jenkins Mwangi saying character, skin color, and behavior. So that is what he, what uh, she does, and that is a man. So that according to him is looks. Then there is B Wamacha says Wengi Wawatu. Uh, when you are what to angalia respect and trusting the matcha is well represented, thank you, B. And then there's Moffat Robert who says locked always. This Victor said there's level of responsibility to Lazima Angalia. Then there is uh, potential ya kuji build. Wezi Angalia to like uh, looks mm -hmm. na mtu wezi ji build. Then there is a lady here called Mamake Nancy saying following and watching from Vika. Karibu Nancy, there is Samuel Juma said loving and caring partner. See, this is hard. Then there is Brian, Ibrahim saying tuned Nikiwa Naivasa uh, Naivasa Kabati. And then there is uh, there is uh, Kenny. Kenny Ken saying from a person uh, who is caring, understanding, 
uh, that is this for for Ken it is hard for Stephen Mwangi is a person who is understanding understanding is part of that I think or about understanding maybe in the brains Heart. Brains are my heart in his heart. Eh? Mm. So Vivian, Vivian says, "Mtu who check love, love, uh, family back, background, and uh, response yake." I think this is heart. This is lady says heart. Then there is Rings Lopez saying, "One wangalia character reaction." So this is also heart. Is he also talks of love, but anapwekamani apu kidogo. Then there is Octo, Octo. Ko kolwa say hi mm -hmm. myself mi utafuta mwenye akona faithfulness and respect that one is also hard so it's like hapa hapa pia na una two majority pia wako hard then there is somebody called uh, Austin Stanley who says don't go for looks looks deceive uh, and uh, he says when looking for a life partner he has given a very long lecture here go to our Facebook page and write and I think this guy is uh, very like he has got to a point that we wanted i would recommend him for for the win then we will just look for another lady and mm -hmm. then there is crystal chris who say uh power outer look uh there is outer look uh that somebody should look first and then there is uh, cindy cynthia who said hello in the morning i myself i go for heart if i um, say wallet and his money can disappear at one time. Cynthia, I also recommend you for this because uh, you are on the point of where we are discussing and the pre preference. He says money, money can deceive people. Uh, there is also uh, this one we've read. So we leave our Facebook at that point. And that was nice. I'm giving you another research here, mm -hmm. just about these choices of divorce rate in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think divorce rate will show us uh, choices, the mm -hmm. way people choose. That divorce rate in Kenya now, now at 2021, is 17.7%, .7 the rate at which people divorce. Mm -hmm. Tight in a kwanga ningapi when you Adventist. Right. So this is 17%. It's mm -hmm. like people get married, and after people have got married in uh, they get married, and after some time, 17.7% percent of, of them get out of marriage again. So let me give you actual numbers. Maybe some people don't get the percentage. He says that in 2020 alone, 2020, the mm -hmm. year to Mepita mm -hmm. Corona, mm -hmm. 2,000 people got divorced. Okay, and imagine now. that is divorce, divorce directly when you are on our certificate. Mm -hmm. So they have to go through a process to, to yeah. take back that certificate that we are no longer married. 2,000. Mm -hmm. Higher. From uh, this, uh, there was a court order, there was a court ruling that there was a, a rule first that uh, that was before last year that you can't get divorced mm -hmm. when you've been married for three, three years. years. So you have to be married for three years, that's when you go back, you go for a divorce. Mm -hmm. But that was revoked by the court. So now you can get married today and tomorrow you yes. go for a divorce. <laughs> It went that way. So from 2018, I'm almost through with this uh, with this uh, research. From 2018 to now, to like uh, to June 2020, 212,000 people, 972 got divorced, and then 355 people and 18 got separated. So in in a total, people have been married and parted in between that between 2018 18. to 2020 mm. are half a million more than a half a million because it is 567,990 in Kenya uh, in Kenya alone that is in Kenya alone mm. don't you think this is tied to choices that people make wrong choices and then they end up seeing that we are made a wrong choice so people, uh, people tend to, to to make wrong choices you know before you get married to a person you should should know that person for some for a period of time see at umejuana na mtu leo home mpenda mshapangaruzi within 3 months <laughs> it makes sense you should you should you should you should learn that person for a period of 6 months to one year hiyo ni kitu huwa tunafunzwa hata pale 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 kwenye society you talk that you should, you, should, you should know that person for a while so that that marriage can 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 stick and that marriage can last long kevo according to this research 11% mm. of ladies have initiated this marriage this divorce mm -hmm. 
on only 5% of men initiated it. So it means it is more initiated by, by ladies, ladies more than men. So a lot of what ladies do you think? A lot of ladies seek for divorce, uh, seek for divorce. The higher number of percentage of those who seek for divorce are, are ladies. Tell, connect this with the money. That ladies choose money in Kenya, ladies choose money <laughs> sana sana, and then there are the more people who go for divorce most. Mm. Say something about that, yeah. then we come back yeah. to Wendy. Pierre Prepare, Corbin. tell us why you think your fellow ladies are divorcing at this much, at this rate. You know, you know, so during during this pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, some I uh, can say somebody was doing well in 2019. Mm. He gets a good job, and a buy Mark X Mpia, and a Shika Haupua along Mombasa Road. Then all of a sudden, 2020, January, March, Corona Kakuja. <coughs> Aka lose job. Ile, ile gari ya likuwa nawaka, unawacha auze. Dema na muwacha, unona. Oh. E, vitu kama hizo zinachangia. Kama li follow money. Mm, kama if li follow, follow money. money. Say, say something. Say, oh, say, you say, secondly, finish, uh... the, 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 the infidelity or betrayal. Yeah. You, you might find... Uh, a lot of men, I don't know if there is a research for that, a lot of men tend to to, 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 to walk out from the marriage and go and kuhanya inja no no. So it is them. men's fault. A, a lot of, <laughs> both men and women, also men, also ladies do, do wapia on a no no. And it also leads to divorces. Wendy, you know we posted this in social media and we've read comments now. So many girls prefer money. And even from the looks like I, I posted it even on my wall and people are wallet, 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 wallet. And then there is this divorce rate for girls. Tell me something about the choices and money. Tie them plus what Voki just said. I will narrow everything down to choices. Mm -hmm. It all starts from choices. That is the root cause of You everything. also chose wallet, think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, money is good. Mm. Poverty is bad. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That is probably what the society has showed us, or even us, we've witnessed in the society. Even while growing up, I wouldn't say that, personally, I wouldn't say that where I am today, especially with my parents, is the same place I was when I was growing up. I am the firstborn at home. Mm -hmm. So I would tell you, poverty is... Really bad. Yeah, just work hard. Look at this camera yeah. and tell somebody, okay. you, are, you are fellow ladies, yeah. about these choices. Okay, so... Um, I... I, the problem from what I've witnessed is that most of men will come into our lives with a lot of promises, with a lot of, um, a lot of lies in terms of Nikona Pesa, mm. or rather I am capable, I have that money. Then the problem comes in where you can no longer maintain that um, that like ile umfu likuja nayo ya kwa na pesa you can no longer maintain it so that brings a lot of problem sincerely speaking today if you came to me as a man that uko na pesa and you're showing me that money and you're lavishing the same money on me then all of a sudden that money is no longer there trust you me it will be a story of another day thank you Andy. so um <laughs> it is okay you have the money, or rather, sometimes we're just growing together. There okay. is the gradual growth together. So you are telling girls to learn to grow together, not money at the first sight, and okay, you're not gone. money at the first time, at the first sight. Even as the man, even if you have the money, don't make it the basis of your relationship. Voke time is really on our neck. Say something as a parting shot. Uh, my parting shot is the, 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 there is a certain song. I it's a local song, a secular song. I it's by by Reckless and Major, and. Um, uh, the major jumped into that track by saying that he, uh, gari ni ya sugar mami, mm -hmm. keja ni ya jirani, na luku ni ya mwaniki. So I would advise not only ladies, uh, if a lady you meet a guy, mm -hmm. gari ineza kuwasi yake ni ya sugar mami. Mm -hmm. Looks pia si zake ya mwaniki, uh -huh. uh, mwaniki. Yeah, na keja pia si yake, uh -huh. ni ya nini, uh -huh. ni ya niba. So all the ladies out there, don't fall for a guy because of the looks. Or, or, or the money, or the or the uh, the house, mm. fall for a guy because of his heart, and 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 have respect and be humble. Thank you, guys. There's uh, consequences for every choice we make. 
So if you choose things that are physical and uh, would fade away very fast, like men who concentrate so much on looks, you know at some time she will not remain beautiful forever. There are shows mm -hmm. that we meet here on the street that if you sh if you saw them like 20, 30 years ago, you'd think they are angels from heaven mm -hmm. just coming to earth and they will go after some time. But now looks went. There are also people who had money and money went. So mm -hmm. kindly, kindly, what I can advise, advise is that don't measure on the temporary. The temporary is set to go. The temporary will sometime go. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that most ladies choose heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm somehow disappointed with fellow men that most of them choose looks. But looks is also important. Somebody told me that you have to care how your children will look <laughs> like in the future. <laughs> so we have lessons from that, just as I always tell you, there's lessons from learn from to learn from this, what this we say. So that if you are about to make some decision which would plunge you into some danger, Mm -hmm. you take care of it. We are also not discouraging separation. If there is danger, like if there is danger in what you are, your life is at danger, we encourage you that you walk away. So this was why in the morning we loved having you. Mm -hmm. We also appreciate those who are with us, my able panelists, uh, Wendy and Voke. Mm -hmm. And uh, on behalf of Val, I say thank you. And on, also on behalf of Faye, who was here some time back, we say thank you all the technical team who assisted us uh, mm -hmm. to make this successful done uh, everybody including Miriam and my able director up there Joe and everybody uh, and uh, Warui thank you very much till we meet next week bye keep safe